What a fun way to end the week. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. For those of you who didn't like Lewis, I got one thing to say to you. That was awesome. Unless you like your Jeopardy players to be stodgy and boring and not having fun, not only was Lewis none of those things, he was also a very good trivia player. 16,000 in the lead heading into final. Missed that daily double that cost him 10,000. Andrew, who won out of second place yesterday, has 15-4, and uh, Mary still very much alive with 10,000. That last clue cost her a little bit, uh, but we'll get into that now. Andrew doubles up. 30,800, so to cover that, 14,800 out of Lewis. If he's wrong with that wager, he'd be left with 1,200, so uh, Mary can wager up to... 8,800, and Andrew can wager up to 14,2. Now, if Mary does, if she got 20,000 units, so that makes things easy. Andrew will have to wager at least 4,600, and uh, Lewis will have to wager 4,000. Now, if Andrew's wrong with that 4,600 wager, he's going to be left with 10,8. So Mary got to wager 800 against him, and uh, with that there, because I'm going to put something else here, 4,000. Adam Lewis will drop down to 12,000. So Mary got to wager 2,000. Okie dokie, that's the first order of things. And now we're going to look at the second order. The, The thing about Lewis and Andrews, they're so close that Lewis probably shouldn't be playing mind games. You just go for the lockout or go small, and we'll have to figure out what that range is, but there might not be one. So we won't bother with Andrew there. And Mary, if she gets up to 18.8, Andrew could cover that uh, by wagering 3,400, but he could also cover the 10,000 pretty easily as well, so there's no point in looking at that. So we're all done with the second order of level, uh, second order of wagers. Nothing to look at. Now, for the differences between everyone, uh, Andrew and Lewis are separated by 600, so double that's 1,200. Uh, on the downside, I guess Lewis could go for 600. That would keep him above Andrew. But, you know, if he's going to get caught by Andrew and Mary, I wouldn't do that. The um, difference between, let's do Mary and Lewis next. That's 6,000, so uh, I'd make that her minimum here, and that would also cover the 5,400 out of uh, zero out of Andrew because she's 5,400 behind. She can't really cover an unsafe wager by either, mathematically. And uh, on the downside here, Andrew and Mary are separated by 5,400, so I'd cap that there, and if he really wants to go a little bit bigger, if he's afraid of Lewis trying to do something tricky, so it was like 4,800, then uh, he could go for up to double that, which is uh, 10,800. So we'll get rid of that. Bad, 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 bad wagers here. Andrew and Mary both giving Lewis the game on a, on a platter. They all miss. Andrew got it right, and uh, Lewis, better to put down Auschwitz, even though it's dead wrong and possibly offensive to some people, than to put down nothing. That's all there is to it. You're not going to get it right if you put down nothing. You might get it right if you put down anything. Bruce Valanche comes to mind. I don't know why I keep going back to him, uh, that whole thing. Whatever. Uh, Andrew, twice now from behind. He's not going to win more games like that, wagering everything, but it worked out this time. And on Monday, he could repeat what Kelly, uh, Kerry Green did, get that uh, third consecutive win from behind. We'll see what he does. Lewis, great game. Mary, great game. A lot of fun to watch. And uh, I guess, sorry, I guess not Monday, because Monday we got to watch some celebs play for charity. Should I be mean to them because they should be smarter than that or be or should it be nice to them because they're playing for charity i don't know you tell me anyway i'm gonna make videos and we'll see you then have a great weekend this has been the final wager